Okay then my friends, so SolidJS, much like other front-end frameworks, make use of something called props. And props are basically just a way to pass custom properties or values into other components. For example, I might want to pass some custom values into one of these card components so that we can use those values inside the component. And every time we use a card component, we can pass different values into it. So they might be different each time around. And the way we do this is almost identical to how we do it in React. We would just pass in a prop name and we'd set it equal to some kind of value. Now that value could be a string or some other type like a number or a boolean or an object, etc. Now if it's a string, then we can just pass that string as a value in quotes. But if it's a different type, then we need to put the value inside curly braces instead. This is how we output some kind of dynamic value or code in solid. So if I passed in a number, that would be in curly braces. And the same would be true if I passed in a Boolean or an object or anything else that's not a string. For now, what I want to do is pass in a prop into this component called title, which is a string. And the value of that could be ninja t for t-shirt. Now, we can accept that prop in the component by just using the props argument inside the component function that we automatically get. Now, if you're coming from React, this is where it's a little bit different because in React, we'd probably just destructure values from the props object, but in Solid, we shouldn't do that because it could break its reactivity. So make sure you don't destructure the props, just keep it as props. And then we can access the title prop on this props object in the template if we wanted to. So now if we go to the browser, we can see that title right here, the value Ninja T. It's not in the other cards because we didn't pass it through. But if we wanted to, we could go back and we could add a title to each one of these and they could be different each time around. So for example, this could be Ninja Tote Bag. And then down here, we could do another title, which would be Ninja Hoodie, like so. So now if we save this, we can see Ninja Tote Bag and Ninja Hoodie. So this is a way to pass different data into the components. Okay, so that's the title. Now, also what I'd like to do is pass in some options for the card itself. For example, we have all these different styles right here. Now, what I'd like to do is maybe have some props in these cards whereby we could say, do we want a shadow? Or do we want round corners or something like that? So that's what we're gonna do now. And what I'll do is I'll just comment out one of them because we only need two for this. So we'll keep the titles, but also I want a couple more props. So those two props are gonna be rounded and we're gonna set that equal to true and then also flat and we're gonna set that equal to false. So this rounded one is gonna be whether we want the card to have rounded corners, the border radius, if you like. And this one right here is telling us whether we want the card to be flat or not. And that refers to the box shadow. So in this case, we do want rounded corners because this is true and we don't want it to be flat. So we do want that box shadow. And we're gonna do something similar for this card down here but we'll have different values. So rounded is gonna be false and flat is gonna be true. Okay then, so let me save this. Now we need to use these different props over here in the card. And remember they're attached to this props object. Now the way we're gonna work with this is by using some conditional classes because we want to conditionally output classes on this div dependent on the values of those props. And the way we do that in solid is by using the class list attribute or rather property. So we can say class list and we set that equal to something dynamic. And in fact, it's an object. And the way this works is we have properties and values. Now the properties are the class names we want to conditionally apply to it. And the values of those are true or false. If the value is true, we apply that class. If the value is false, we don't. So the classes or the property names we want here are gonna be rounded MD. And that's for this one right here, rounded. And also shadow MS because, oops, I think that should be shadow MD. All right, not MS. So shadow MD, and that's for this prop right here, flat. So then we'll say in quotes, rounded hyphen MD, and the value of that is gonna be props dot rounded, and that's gonna be true or false. This thing right here, yeah. And then the next one is going to be shadow hyphen MD, and that's gonna be exclamation props dot flat. And it's exclamation because it's the opposite of this, right? So if flat is false, 
then we do want the class, so we reverse it, okay? And now we can take them off here because we don't want to apply them to every card, only to cards based on these prop values, all right? So let's give this a whirl. We should see that the first card is rounded and also has the shadow. The second one shouldn't be rounded and shouldn't have the shadow. So let's check it out. All right, yeah, rounded at the corners with a shadow, not rounded and doesn't have a shadow. Awesome. Okay, cool. So now we've seen how we can pass these props into components, but using props like this does have its limitations. For example, what if I wanted to have lots of different content inside each of these cards? So not just a different title, but also maybe a different paragraph of text, maybe a different image, even a totally different template. Well, then props wouldn't really be able to efficiently solve that because we don't want to be making props for loads of different content, templates, images, all that kind of jazz. That would get really messy, right? But what we can do is pass in custom content and templates using the children property on the props object. So let me show you how that works. So I'm first going to get rid of the title prop in each of these components. We don't need that anymore. And you'll see why in a second. And if we go to the component, we can take out the props.title as well. We don't need that. And in fact, I'm going to cut all of this. So now we just have a div with no content inside the div, just the div with the classes. Now, if we go back to app.jsx, what I'd like to do is make this so now it's no longer self-closing. So we have the closing tag as well. And now I want to make it so we can pass a custom template and custom content into this card by nesting it inside these tags. So I could paste in this content right here and I could put in a title, for example, Ninja T Black, like so. Now, let me just scoot that in. I'm going to copy that again. I'm going to do the same thing down here, do a closing tag. And then inside that, I'm going to output this template again. We'll change the title and that's going to be Ninja T and we'll do white for this. We'll change the order of the content as well. So let's grab that button and let's put it up here instead. And maybe it will put a price at the bottom. So only 10 pounds or something like that. And we'll change the button text to view. We'll do that on both. So now we have different content going into each of these cards. And we wanna output that content inside this div right here. And the way we do that is just by using curly braces because we're outputting something dynamic and then saying props.children. And this children property on the props represents whatever children we pass into the card. And these are all the children right here, the children elements, if you like. So it takes all of this content and it outputs it right here where we output props.children. And now we should see that content, this and this inside the cards. So let's take a look. And we do, awesome. So that's a nice way to pass custom templates and content into other components.